These breathing exercises in 2014 were capable to show, just like scientifically, uh, la hormonally, uh, looking at the nervous system, the depth uh, which we entered with these breathing exercises in this comparative study showed that we were able to tap into the autonomic nervous system and innate immune system, which was considered to be impossible in science. And now it is there. It's not only the autonomic nervous system and the innate immune system, it's also the ability naturally to solve what is deeply stored up in our tissue, which could not be processed in the moment when it happened. Trauma. Wim, I've got some of those studies in front of me. I, I read through all of them um, ahead of our conversation and they are quite frankly um, remarkable. They're quite frankly remarkable. They are uh, peer reviewed studies that have been published, um, went through very sort of scientifically rigorous processes to make sure that they were valid. And in these studies, we see breakthroughs that I think in the past people thought were impossible. But if we just focus in then on that breathing, because you, you described that as the first step. If I have never breathed in my life, I've never done it. I've never heard about it. I'm, a, I'm skeptical to it. I think breathing is just something we don't think about. Um, what do you mean by breathing and what kind of breathing? And can you explain to me like I'm an idiot? what it's doing. <clears throat> yeah, what it is doing. For example, I'm uh, uh, now busy with cardiologists and they saw in heart films that if you stop breathing after exhalation for one and a half minutes, five times more blood flows into the brain and to the heart. 